ticket in my hand to you Canceling all my plans for you Don't know where we're going or what we're gonna do Got a ticket in my hand to you Welcome, family and loved ones and our happy couple. Today's a celebration, a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, of two people who are in it for the long haul. These two are in it forever. You fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You both are choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. I've known Blake since I was an infant in Malta, Montana. And so when it came time for me to pick who would stand next to me when I married the woman of my dreams, Blake was the obvious choice. Blake is simply a solid human. Like the iconic Casio watch, you may not have a lot of modern style, <laughs> but you are dependable, reliable, economical, water resistant to 50 meters, <laughs> and overall a true timeless classic. You have been there for me through thick and thin, and the way you treat Quincy is truly exemplary. You treat her as a true gentleman should. Quincy has been like a sister to me for all of these years. Um, you could say we are even closer than sisters. One thing I cherished most about our relationship is that it is forever evolving together. So whether it had been six months or one month since the last time we'd seen each other, it's like we just picked up where we left off. I knew Quincy had found the one um, when Blake walked into her life. The way she talked about him on the phone, the way I saw them when they interacted each other, I knew that she was smitten. Blake and Quincy are the perfect balance for each other. As we all well know, Quincy's very motivated, she's very driven, and Blake is one of the most easygoing and grounded individuals I have had the chance to meet. So I feel like she is the perfect yin to his yang. Blake. From the moment I met you, my life has been filled with more laughter, smiles, and adventures. It didn't take long for me to fall in love with your looks, clever mind, goofy sense of humor, and laid-back attitude. When I look back on the last year and a half of our engagement, one thing comes to mind. Steady. You are strong, steady, and reliable, and you help me stay grounded. You are the person who can calm me when my nerves hit the best of me, and when my mind is racing. You help me to stop, slow down, and enjoy the simple things. Today we are getting married. Words cannot explain the joy, excitement, and anticipation I am feeling. You've taught me compassion for others, patience, and the importance of family. I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you and continue to grow with you as a team. I'm excited to start our lives together as a married couple. I look forward to the years to come and am confident that our future will be full of happiness and love. I can't wait to raise a family with you and make new traditions together. I know with you by my side, our love can weather any storm. I'm so excited to enjoy all, enjoy all that life has to offer with you. The big things and the little things, the exciting things and the ordinary things. Blake, you're my best friend and loving you is and has always been easy. I'm so blessed to be starting this life with you and to be able to call you my husband. I can hardly wait to be your wife. Love, Quincy. The marriage ceremony has been an important feature across nearly every culture, religion, generation, and society for years and years and years. We have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this is one that's regarded as so critical, we acknowledge its special status by sharing it with others. So why this moment? Because despite all of our differences, Love is what we all share and celebrate. It's the great unifier, our one universal truth. That no matter who we are, where we've come from, what we believe, we know this one thing. Love is what we do right. That's why you both are standing here. 
That's why you all are here to watch. We have all loved in our lifetimes, and in this moment, we're reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of humanity. You're about to make promises to each other that you intend to keep. You're going to vow to take care of each other, to stand up for one another, and to find happiness in each other forever after. There's a simple premise to each of these promises. You're vowing to be there. You're teaming up and saying to the other, every experience I'm going to have, I want you to be a part of that experience. We're all here because we want those moments for you. We're here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and to remind you that love isn't happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your own personal love story. It's not one moment, not even this moment, it's every moment. Big ones like the first time you say I love you, moving in together, getting engaged, but mostly a million little things that come in between the big moments. Quincy, I love you. You are my better three quarters. You're the most caring and compassionate person that I know. I've always admired your drive and devotion. Over the years, you've made me grow immensely as a person. You have turned me into a better man. I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you and to continue to grow with you as a team. From this point on, I promise that I'll be there no matter what. I'm ready to work and fight through the hard times and maximize the enjoyment of the good times. I know there will be bumps in the road, but with love and the help of our friends and family, I know we'll keep it between the mustard and the mayo. I promise to keep our love and friendship growing, to never let us lose our spark, and to work hard for our marriage every day. I vow to have the patience that love demands, to speak when words are needed, and to share in the silence when they are not. I will encourage you to follow your dreams. I will love you as you love me. I vow to be giving and forgiving, to make you laugh and to laugh at myself. I'm ready to live this life with you. Blake, you marry the one you love, but then you love the one you marry. Well, clearly, that's why we're here today, but I also want to tell you that I will keep loving you and choosing you for the years to come. And since love is why we're here, these are some of the things I love most about you. I love how you are always there for me and pretty much anyone whenever they need your help. You are a reliable and honest man. I love how you are always ready for an adventure, no planning needed. You always make it work despite my skepticism. I love that you can calm my sometimes worried mind and you can even talk to me out of some admittedly irrational crises, <laughs> namely the volcano under Yellowstone exploding. <laughs> Um, I'm fairly fluent in your Blakeisms now, and it makes me laugh when I have to translate them for others. I love that you can always make me laugh no matter how ridiculous your joke is. Here are some of the promises I want to make to you today. I promise to support your dreams as strongly as if they are my own. I will be your biggest cheerleader, and I will help you shoulder the losses when they come. I promise to love you and share with you the beautiful moments in life, and I promise to love you just as completely during the trying and uncertain times. I promise to give you the best of myself, and I promise to grow, with, grow together with you as our marriage and love matures. And I promise to never stop singing Remy's names into different songs. I look forward to the day we will embarrass our future kids by doing the same. Blake, loving you is easy, and I have fallen in love with you countless times without hesitation. I know that no matter what trials come our way, we will get through them together. I love you. Blake and Quincy, Quincy and Blake, you have come here today of your own free will in the presence of family and loved ones. You have declared your love and commitment to each other. You have given and received rings as a symbol of your promises by the power of your love and commitment to each other. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now seal your vows with a kiss.
Congratulations, family and loved ones. I now present to you the newly married couple, Blake and Quincy Beekler. Let's hear it for them. Woo!